this is Info Puppet. In this Photoshop Elements tutorial, we're going to work on the Smart Brush tool. And I'll give you versions in both Photoshop Elements 10 and Photoshop Elements 11. So Photoshop Elements is opened up and in Photoshop Elements 10 we'll go to the toolbar and there it is the Smart Brush Tool not the Detail Smart Brush Tool the Smart Brush Tool okay now in Photoshop Elements 11 this stuff's making me dizzy We'll go down the toolbar and there's the detail smart brush tool. But where's the smart brush tool? It's down here at the bottom. You have to click on smart brush tool. All of your settings are right here at the bottom at Photoshop Elements 11. And in Photoshop Elements 10, they're all here at the top. Okay, so this is the image that we'll be working on today. And let's go ahead and change this from 100% to 200%. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, see the eyes here, how they're kind of a uh, bloodshot and there's some vessels. We're going to fix all that and also work on the lips. So now we're going to select portrait. And uh, let's go down here and select lipstick. Now I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging. And the Smart Brush tool makes the selection of the lips for me. It's great. I love it. Now up here when we go over to the Layers panel, we can click on this layer thumbnail and boom, the Pick a Solid Color box opens up. Now watch what happens, it's so cool. When you select different colors, the lipstick is changing different colors. I love this. Again, you can do this in both Photoshop Elements 10 and 11. Let's go with this one right there. All right, let's click on OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go up here and again, uh, let's go ahead and this time we're going to select Bright Eye. And uh, we're going to click on an eyeball. And the Smart Brush tool already makes a selection for us. So uh, now let's go ahead and... The Adjustments window is open and we're just going to turn this thing down because a lot of times Photoshop Elements just makes it too bright. Okay, I'm going to close that. And that looks much better. All right, now what we're gonna do is adjust the other eye. And there you go. Now these things here, look, I want you to see this. If your selection is too large or it spills out of your image, just click on this little brush sign with the minus. You can do it for the eyes too. Now we're gonna look at some before and after. This is before and after before and after hey this is info puppet thanks so much for watching please leave your comments below love you guys thanks again from info puppet